Verification of Laws of Refraction Laws of Refraction The incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal to the surface at the point of incidence all lie in one plane. For any two given pair of media, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant. The second law is called Snell's law after the scientist Wilbrod van Rogen Snell who first formulated it. Thus, sine i by sine r is equal to a constant that is equal to mu, where mu is the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. Place a rectangular glass slab on a white sheet of paper fixed to a drawing board. Trace the boundary ABCD of the glass slab. Remove the glass slab. Draw IO to represent the incident ray. Draw the normal N1, N2 at the point of incidence O. Fix two pins P1 and P2 on the incident ray IO. Place the glass slab within its boundary ABCD. Looking from the other side of the glass slab, fix two pins P3 and P4 such that the feet of all the pins are in one straight line. Remove the glass slab and the pins. Mark the pinpoints P1, P2, P3 and P4. Join P3, P4 to represent the emergent ray O-E. Join OO dash. OO dash is the refracted ray. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal are all lying in the same plane. This proves the first law of refraction. Measure and record the angle of incidence and angle of refraction. Repeat the experiment by varying the angle of incidence.
measure the corresponding angle of refraction. Using logarithmic tables, find the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is found to be the same in all the three cases. This verifies the second law of refraction or Snell's law, that is, sine i by sine r is equal to mu, a constant for a given pair of media.